busted for carjacking, an Uber driver zapping him with a stun gun. It's a story we first told you about earlier this week, one of several carjackings now involving stun guns. CBS 2's Esal Razai, live in Logan Square. Esal, a restaurant owner providing clues to actually help catch the guy. Brad, that's right. The restaurant owners here tell me police have been here collecting video. They say the two carjacking suspects came here to eat before they stole that car. Court documents show one of those suspects was picked up by Harvey police on Tuesday. An Uber driver is attacked and carjacked. Police arrest this man, 19 year old Vicarious Young. He's charged with aggravated vehicular hijacking with the weapon. Police say Young and another suspect shocked the victim with the stun gun before making him get out of his car and stealing it Monday night. We spoke to the victim's son earlier this week. He didn't want to show his face on camera. He told us this is the second time his dad has been assaulted while driving for Uber. It hadn't even been a year last time it happened to him was October and now this. He's just happy his father is okay. I'm just like really thankful that he was able to kind of get out of it without any injuries. The victim's son telling us he drives for Uber too. And while he doesn't put in as many hours as his dad, he's concerned with the risks they face. As these robberies, carjackings are I guess at an all time high or like are happening more frequently. Uh, I definitely don't feel comfortable driving for a ride share. A Thai restaurant down the street from where the victim was attacked tells me the suspects were at the restaurant the same night and have given their surveillance footage to police. Chicago police say there were four carjackings within about three hours across three police districts Monday night. Three of the incidents involved rideshare drivers. At least two of them involved a stun gun. It's very saddening to see when someone's just out there just trying to do a job, you know, actually helping people transport from one place to another. No word yet on if the suspect in custody is tied to all the other carjackings that happened Monday night. Chicago police are continuing the investigation. We're live in Logan Square, Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News.